All right, uh, this is the second day we've been uh, working on the RV at home, or the motor home, I keep on saying RV. So yesterday we uh, took this out, we took out the water tank. Uh, this whole section right there was all rotted out at the floor. I was standing there yesterday. Maybe I'll post a picture right now. There's a hole in our floor. <laughs> Pretty funny. So yeah, this that's all replaced, it's fixed up. You know, looks normal again back there. Uh, today I want to do some other small fixes, but I decided instead, this top bunk here has some like really thin, cheap, like wall board type stuff. It's really bad. Definitely been uh, water damage up here. So I just started kind of getting it here. Uh, I'm just going to get out the whole frame, see what the frame looks like. Can definitely tell it's wet over here but it's not completely rotted which is shocking because this looks like original ish maybe they've already done this before but the whole bottom here you can tell is mold i'm probably gonna take out that whole wall just to you know start from scratch up in that corner it's pretty bad too so yeah i'm gonna currently rip out all this right now and uh let's see what it looks like in two seconds when i rip it out so yeah definitely confirm that this is just like crappy wall board that was under here, like really, really cheap, thin stuff. This is like a cardboard here, whatever that is, but you can tell significant amount of water damage here. That's gross. That's all gonna come out, and hopefully the snake will come out too. Check out this piece. Mmm. Yummy. Lift it up. Mmm, very yummy. The frame down here doesn't look too bad. Just in the top corner over here, but uh, the rest of this stuff's actually probably going to be be able to be reused. Switch out the phone just because it looks gross. Not bad. So taking out all this disgusting foam. Wow, my kids are going crazy. But uh, yeah, definitely uh, time to come out. But overall, it's not too nasty. Looking at the the wood framing, it's actually almost under framed like there's no cross supports over here not that i know anything about framing it's just like these are just long sections going this way there's nothing coming this way so i'll probably do the same idea but uh support it a little bit better and uh have a more solid sleep area let's give it a quick little vacuum it's a little thin piece of wood up here is uh beyond rod it's it comes apart like, uh, I don't know. It comes apart really easy. We'll just say that. Um, I was looking at this. Like, I think these are solid, but they're black, discolored, pretty gross. Super easy to just take this and cut new ones. So I'm just going to re replace all this wood. Hello. It's uh, day three of our Renos. I say R, but my wife's been at work. So I'm ripping out the, the bunk here. And a couple surprises. Surprise number one is all my framing is metal, which I didn't even know that was a thing. I thought I was going to have to replace all this rotten wood. And uh, the only wood is really at the bottom here, the bottom frame, which is like so minimal. Like I'm going to put extra support and all this stuff. Uh, all this foam insulation is actually not all that nasty. I'll probably still replace it just because, but it really is in decent condition. Uh, this stuff here though, that's gross. We don't want any of that uh, nasty insulation there. So I'll take that out. But uh, the whole top, the roof here, like if you look at all this stuff, I got like water stains, stuff like this. So there's some water staining up here. Like it looked like there's going to be mold. Took it all out. It's gross, but it's actually not very moldy. You can kind of... So all that wood was in good condition, which means my roof's in pretty good condition. And my freaking RV is metal framed. Like, who would have thought? So that's, uh, that changes a lot, actually. There's some wood up here. You can see that, but I'm going to replace that. That's like the only kind of nasty wood is uh, in this corner and in that corner. So that seems super basic. I don't even know what that is, like super thin plywood. So I'm going to take that out and replace that. But uh, the rest of it seems fine. 
So I was hoping to document this with uh, my wife, who's never here helping me because she's at work. But I uh, ripped out this beam here. It's part of the frame at the bottom, and it was rotten for sure. Very nasty. I actually took apart the outside of uh, the trailer. I'll take a show you what's going on there. So there's this little weather stripping and then you can get access to these bolts that screw to the frame and there's lots of caterpillars. So you can see where I've been sitting. Might have to lose a couple pounds, but yeah, all these things completely rusted, like lots of water. This was, you can tell that this was already replaced because these are crappy screws. Kind of clean this up because this is full of gunk. I'll do another pass, but it looks all right. So yeah, basically this is going to come apart here a little bit. You can see. And then I'm going to put the new frame there, drill into it. There's some weird stuff happening here with this that I don't even want to mess with. I need to put that back because I don't want to take any seals off. That looks scary. So I'm going to fix that. Update. About to take out this front window, then the windows on the sides because I'm ripping up this whole skin all down there because I have to replace plywood up here that uh, was pretty yucky. So there's my wife. She's back. Let's go see. So I took out all of these. None of them came out without help. A prying with a screwdriver and then pulling with pliers. Double glasses. So this is terrifying. Completely ripped out. Took out the frame that was coming here. We're gonna clean up this stuff on the metal there. You can see that. It's kind of dirty. I'm gonna clean up the frame a bit. But uh, I've already cut my piece here, my other frame there. On the other side, there is absolutely no support with this thing now. If uh, you would have told me we would be doing this, I would not believe you because this scares the crap out of me, but we're actually doing it. Look what I stepped on. Oh, my wife stepped on a nail. I just got bit by something. <laughs> but it didn't go through my shoe. Okay. But yeah, so took out the window. These guys are still hanging on with their seal, but we're going to take that off too. Yeah, I uh, definitely committed to doing this bunk. Scary. Got to make sure I don't break the aluminum here. Because I see that happens to people sometimes. I did pull out the thing and I see it kind of slightly dented. But uh, yeah, just replacing wood.